Hey, this is Emily Herbst with my Universal Design Project. I decided to focus on the appliance, the microwave, because I found it had some obstacles for those who um, have disabilities. For those who are visually impaired, some barriers that I found was that the buttons all feel similar. All the buttons have the same sound, at least with the microwaves that I'm familiar with and um, they don't really provide any bright colors so as you can see in the picture um, the buttons just kind of blend into the background most of the time. Uh, some barriers for someone who is deaf or hearing impaired um, the main issue would be the alarm um, because it is only auditory in most circumstances so it's hard for them to know when the microwave has finished. So some modifications for someone with VI, um, just kind of at, uh, like they have at an ATM, add braille beneath the numbers and functions, and then you can also have the, num the buttons will also be backlighted uh, for easier location. Um, audio buttons, so each button would make a different sound from each other. That way they always know what they have pressed. And um, command repetition, so at the end if they've decided to microwave something for let's say a minute 30 seconds, it'll say um, starting 1 minute 30 seconds or something of that sort. Some modifications for those who are deaf. Uh, the main problem here was again that they can't hear or may have trouble hearing the alarm going off whenever the microwave has finished. So a simple modification that my design has um, is a not obnoxiously large light, but just a light next to the time display um, that will flash uh, just to let them know that it is done. Some modifications for chair users. Um, the main problem here is uh, at least with the microwaves that I've had, I've they've been on the counter or they've been uh, located up high. And obviously, if you are using a chair, it's harder to reach them. Uh, so lower installation is a part of my design. And then a pull-out door as well, so that instead of opening the door, placing your food in there, and then having to uh, get it out again, it's kind of like just placing your food into a drawer um, and that way um, it just has more functionality and you can approach it from the top from your chair. Uh, when it comes to the seven principles, uh, equitable use, these modifications allow people of varying disabilities um, to use this appliance without issue and also those who um, do not have disabilities can use this appliance no problem. Flexibility in use, these modifications can be used and applied as the individual sees fit and can be used for safety effectiveness as well. Um, so, yeah, simple and intuitive. These modifications are easy and functional. Uh, little to no knowledge is necessary to operate this uh, design. It operates just as a normal microwave would. It just has a few external designs added. Uh, perceptual information. Um, this design allows the necessary communication tactics for varying disabilities, uh, things like the flashing light and the differing button sounds um, are all communication tactics that um, those who uh, do or do not have disabilities will find useful. Tolerance for error. Various modifications available to prevent er error and injury. Low physical effort. This design should result in no fatigue or very minimal physical effort, um, just as a normal microwave would. Size and space for approach and use. Um, it should be a normal size microwave, so about medium sized. I would just the buttons will be a little bit larger just to allow um, for that braille on there, but not obnoxiously big to where it'd be noticeable for those who are um, who are not disabled. 
and just an average size door handle for those pull out doors um, just so chair users can easily um, use the appliance. <laughs>